Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be trying out three lenses on the Lumix G9. We're trying out the Leica 9mm which is 18 on the micro four thirds f1.7 versus the two other lenses TT Artisans. So we're going to be trying out the TT Artisans 17mm f1.4 which is the equivalent of a 34mm on a micro four thirds and we're also going to be trying out the TT Artisans 35mm f1.4 which is the equivalent of a 70mm on a micro four thirds. The 35 um, TT Artisans 35 millimeter cost $83 <clears throat> cost $83 and the other one the 17 millimeter the 34 equivalent cost $139 on Amazon so these are two really cheap lenses now they're manual only and your f-stops are set here on the end so you have to change your f-stops up here so the camera doesn't keep record of how you shot the image so let's take a look at the pictures um, now I left the complete video on there of me shooting her pictures but it's a little hard to watch because there's no flash going off, so it's hard to tell when I took the pictures. So you can watch part of that if you want, or skip it if you want. There'll be a slideshow at the end where you're, I will stop before each lens, and I'll show you we use this. We use the uh, Leica lens here, the 17 lens here, and the 35 lens here, so you'll be able to tell the differences. So anyway, let's get started. Let's have a look at the images. Let's get going. Welcome back, guys. We've got Hallie with us again today, and we're going to be using the Lumix G9. And we're going to try three different lenses: the Lumix G9, the Leica 9 millimeter f1.7. The TT Artisan 17 millimeter, which is technically a 34 on a micro four thirds, and the TT Artisan 35, which is technically a 70 millimeter on micro four thirds. So let's get started and try these three lenses. So stay right there. I like that pose. Pull your hands like through your hair a little bit. There you go. That's awesome. Again, this is a super wide lens, so I'm head to toe, even though when I'm right here. Oh, okay. Have a seat right there on the like the second step. That's awesome. I like that. Point your feet this way a little bit. There you go. Arch that back. There you go. A little bit more smile. Very good. Arch your back a little bit more. There you go, one, two, three. Very good. Turn your chin this way. All right, let me change the lenses. All right, this time we're putting on the TT Artisans 35, so it's technically a 70 millimeter lens. And it's all manual, so half of these pictures will probably be out of focus. But we hope not. You got a crowd watching you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. A little bit less. All right, so now we're going to go to F4, shutter speed 100, we're at ISO 200. This is a really beautiful lens. It's a little hard, there we go. It's a little hard to focus, especially when you're my age. There we go. All right, so that's beautiful. That is so pretty. Go back to that four. I like that. Just kind of play with your hair. Okay. Keep the eyes on me. There you go. Keep going. Slow the <laughs> oh, you're good. Stand up. Now I'm going to be kind of close. Turn your shoulder sideways. There you go. And turn that chin back toward me. Pull your hair all the way over on one side. That's it. Perfect. That's awesome. So we're going to go up back to four. We're going to go to five, six. And this TD Artisan lens that I'm using, guys, is only, why is it not? Oh, that's the wrong thing. It was only $100 brand new. And you just can't find the lens for $100 brand new. Perfect. That is beautiful. One more on there. Okay. Very good. Okay, now we're going to go to the TD Artisan equivalent of a 34 millimeter. All 
I do a lot of editing if you can't tell all these pictures. Right. <laughs> all right, let's see here. That four. Let's start sitting back down again. And this time, let's point your feet the other direction. Now nah, I'm good. All right, here we go. Now this one is wide, so it makes it even harder to focus because almost everything is in focus. That was good. Okay, eyes at me. There you go. Very good. That, perfect. <laughs> What's she trying to get you to do? Oh, um, perfect. That's beautiful. I like that. Let me see those teeth. Very good. Okay, stand back up for me. Perfect. Good smile. You're good. Just right, yeah, I like them just like that. It's perfect right there. Let's turn, let's turn this way a little bit. Well, I almost do need a flash here, but... That was 2.8 we just shot it, so we're going to go to F4. Okay, good, good smile. Bring your chin that way a little bit. There you go, perfect. I like that. Let's sit back down for a second. I'm going to, I had cars in the background on that one. Perfect. Lean over and put your hands like, like, right, like you did earlier. Yeah, that's perfect. Very good. Awesome. No smile this time. Give me that sexy look. Close your eyes. On the count of three. One, two, three. There you go. Keep that smile. Oh, oh, that's okay. Sorry. Okay, sorry. You're good. Very good. There you go. I like that. Now again, this is a manual lens, and I am trying my best to make sure all this is in focus. Very good. I like that. Come in close this time. I'm not as close as you think I am. Beautiful eyes. What about there? Perfect. Very good. All right. Let's get in All right. So that was shot with the Leica 9mm TDRs in 17 and the TDRs in 35. I'll mark which pictures were which. So let's check out the pictures. All right. Now these next set of images I'm going to show you are going to be from the Leica 9mm 1.7, which is 18 on a 35 on a full frame format. I think that's a little bit wide to be shooting just one person, but you can get creative with them. But let's take a look at them. Let's take a look at them and see what you think. Okay, the next pictures we're going to look at are from the 35. These will be the equivalent of a 70 millimeter. So let's have a look at those, see what you think about those. The next lens we're going to look at is the 17 millimeter, 34 equivalent. Let's have a look at those and see what you think.
And there you go, guys. What did you think about the difference? The um, Leica lens is a beautiful lens. I just, it's kind of expensive and I think it would be fine for like reception shots and stuff, but for shooting one person, unless you're just trying to get some creative look, I don't really see me using it a whole lot. Um, I think the 17 and the 35 on the TT Artisans, they were a little hard for me to focus, but it's been a while since I did the focusing, so I think I can get used to that pretty soon. Um, I think they both look pretty good, and for one to be just a little over 100 and the other one to be just below 100, I think that's really good quality for that kind of price. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys these lenses and see what they look like. Let me know if you've tried them out or if you've bought them, if you use them, and what you think of them. So for helping you guys out, hit that subscribe button, and you guys have a good day. Thanks.